Welcome, friends and fellow Polar's Dead researchers. This is Mike Williams. In my May 2019 conversation with Tina Foster, Tina mentioned that fall has six toes. So I decided to take a deeper dive into the anatomy of Billy's feet. What I discovered in my research was quite interesting. For starters, it certainly further solidifies the replacement of biological Paul McCartney and expands on a discussion of the use of doubles to carry out the Beatle and McCartney PSYOP. As with all my presentations, I am simply presenting my findings. If it resonates, take it with you. And if it does not, then leave it on the table. It's okay to agree to disagree. This video is not for those who are stuck in the illusion of the Beatle and McCartney myth or refuse to open their minds and critically think. If you believe this topic is nonsense, then I highly recommend clicking the stop button now and finding another channel to immerse yourself in, perhaps one which perpetuates the Beatle and McCartney deception. For everyone else, thanks for taking a listen. And with that, Let's get started. I will review my Many Faces of Paul McCartney slide in a moment to level set the different views of McCartney over time. In my December 2018 presentation, The Beatles, Paul McCartney, and The Grand Illusion, I presented the theory of two primary Paul replacements or doubles, one being Billy as a musician-songwriter version and Street Paul who was an actor for ongoing public consumption. However, aside from the two primary replacements, there were several doubles used in parallel over the timeline. This was done to create confusion for researchers and to condition the public. Many researchers focus on facial and height discrepancies. However, the feet are also very different, proving biological Paul was replaced and doubles were and still are being used. So by examining the feet, two versions of fall emerge, one with five toes and one with six toes. Let's move to the next slide. Those that follow my work have seen these slides before, where we can clearly see different McCartney characters over time. We must keep in mind that many pictures and images have been doctored over the past 55 years or so. Per memoirs, the album covers prior to Sgt. Pepper in 1967 should be used as sources for comparing biological Paul to other images since no doubles were used on those album photo shoots. Anything outside those early album covers become very suspect because of the photo tampering. For example, as we move to the next slide, picture number two is a hybrid or composite image. It combines both biological Paul and Billy. So we can see the doctoring goes back decades. Now, as we begin our trek down the podiatry rabbit hole, we need to establish a baseline with biological Paul's feet. In this image, we see Bio Paul has five toes on his left foot and his toes appear to have no abnormalities. Later on in this presentation, we will see his right foot also has five toes and looks normal. Let's pause for a moment so you can study the visual. Now here's an image of Fall with six toes on his right foot. I numbered the toes on the right side of the slide to make it easier to see. Again, I'll pause for a moment so you can take a look. Here's an image of Fall with six toes on his left foot as well. So both his right and left foot have six toes, or at least this version of Fall has six toes on both feet. Again, I'll pause, take a moment, take a look, and then we'll move to the next slide. Here's another picture of Fall with six toes. Notice how wide his foot is. Take a moment and pause the video if you'd like to take a closer look. And now moving to the next slide. This image was sent to me by a listener. The photo appears to be from the same session as the previous slide. Again, notice the width of the foot. This is important because with the next slide, we will compare this foot with biological poles. So again, take a moment and observe. Here we compare Biopole's left foot with the left foot of Fall. We can see Paul has five toes and this version of Fall has six. We can also see the width of Paul's foot is much narrower than the foot on the right. Here's another comparison. Five toes versus six toes, and Paul has a much wider foot. Okay, so what can we conclude so far? We have two different versions of McCartney. Bio Paul has five toes, Paul has six toes. Therefore, 
they are clearly not the same person. Six Toe Fall is with Linda, and we will get back to this later because it gets even weirder. Let's move to the next slide. The version of Paul McCartney on the Abbey Road album cover has five toes. However, his big toe on his right foot sticks up. This is a condition referred to as Hallux Extensus. Take out your Abbey Road 33 RPM album cover and look closer. You'll find using a magnifying glass is helpful. Again, Hallux Extensus is a condition which afflicts the big toe on one's foot. It results in the toe being cocked in an upward position. Now let's move to the next slide. Here we have Fall at the beach with his wife Nancy. We can see the big toe on Fall's right foot is sticking up and he has five toes. Just like we see on the Abbey Road album cover. Again, I'll pause for a moment so you can take a look. The arrow on the right is pointing to his large toe. This picture from the beach is not as clear as the previous slide because of the sand, but we can still see the big toe on his right foot is sticking up. This picture is interesting because the big toe is cocked upward, but now it's Fall's left foot and not his right. We have the same thing going on with the next slide. So let's take a look and see if we can figure out what's going on. Here we again see it's the left foot and not the right having the big toe cocked upward. The right foot is difficult to make out, so I won't make any guesses. So there are two possibilities for the switch of the feet. Either these images are doctored, or we are looking at a double. Now let's take a look at another peculiar photo, which I believe was fudged. Here's an image I found of Biological Paul, and we can see his big toe on his right foot points up. However, as I look closely at this image, it appears to have been tampered with. There is something about the way the toe is curved that makes me suspicious. So let's take a closer look. Here's an image of Paul, and we can clearly see neither foot has a big toe that sticks up. His large toes lay flat, whether it be on his right foot or his left. Here's another picture from the same photo shoot. Again, Paul's toes look normal. Here's the next photo, and again, no anomalies with Paul's toes. Everything looks normal. None of his big toes stick upward. Here's another image of Paul at a pool, and we can see his feet look perfectly normal. There are no anomalies. Now with this slide, I'm comparing the black and white image I believe was docked with the pool and beach photos. We can clearly see Biological Paul did not have Hallux extensus. This can lead us to conclude that the black and white photo on the left was doctored. More mind games for the masses. Here's a picture of Fall in India, and lo and behold, his big toe on his right foot is cocked upward. And here's another photo from India at a different angle. The big toe is clearly pointing upward. And another picture from India, and we again see his right big toe is cocked up. Here's a staged photo where Fall's right foot has five toes and his big toe looks normal as he masks his left foot and toe with his hand. What in the world is going on? Let's take a look at some more Abbey Road photos. This is from the Abbey Road photo shoot. The design of the sandals are keeping the big toe pushed down. Let's take a look at what happens when he takes the sandals off. Now, this is going to be hard to see with this video, but search the web for this picture and you will see the big toe on his right foot is cocked up when the sandals come off. Let's move to the next slide. This guy, in my opinion, is one of the many doubles and lookalikes that were used over the timeline. There are no anomalies with his feet other than his big toes being elongated which neither of the previous falls had. We'll take a closer look with the next slide. And here is a close-up of his feet and toes. He has five toes, and neither of his big toes is cocked upward. Also, again, notice the elongated big toes. This guy, in my opinion, is yet another actor playing the character of Paul McCartney. As we can see, the plot thickens. These two versions of quote-unquote Paul are clearly not the same person. The photos of Six Toe Fall, or the guy on the left with Linda, was also the Paul in the studio photos I showed earlier. 
those photos were most likely staged photo ops, meaning he was told to hold a guitar and play pretend for the camera. And so that begs the question, who is Linda with? Is that Billy, or is she photographed with one of the doubles, perhaps Street Paul? There are still a lot of questions, but what we can deduct, regardless of who Linda is sitting with, is that she was a major player in the conspiracy because she was interacting with both Bill and the doubles as part of the PSYOP in order to muddy the waters. We know this because in the pictures above, she is sitting with a different version of McCartney from the Abbey Road cover. She's sitting with Mr. Six Toes, and we now know the Abbey Road version of Paul has five toes. So the question becomes, which one is Billy, and who are these other people? Is Billy the guy with the upturned big toe on his right foot, or his left foot? Aside from the feet, another key physical difference is Bill's height. He is approximately 6 foot 2 inches. Biological Paul stood at approximately 5'10", so Billy has 4 inches on Paul. In the picture on the left with the Queen, notice Bill's long, lanky legs. We are told Queen Elizabeth is 5 foot 4. The platform she is standing on appears to be approximately 6 to 8 inches above the ground, and Bill, standing on the floor, is still inches taller than the Queen. Note the straight lines and arrows for reference. Now the photo on the right shows Bill with his wife Nancy. Nancy Shevel is 5 foot 10 inches, and we can see Bill is taller than his wife even with her hat on. So Billy is over 6 feet, and his height is another key factor in figuring the puzzle out. The McCartney conspiracy is extremely confusing and has been in play for almost 60 years. We have numerous doubles and look-alikes being used for decades. All the key players, including family members, are in on the cover-up. It becomes exhausting at times to try to figure it out. But let's break it down based on deduction. So here we go. The beach picture with Nancy Shevel is Billy. Billy is the version with the upward big toe on the right foot. He is the Paul that we see in India and on the Abbey Road cover. As I mentioned in the earlier chart, Bill is 6 feet 2 inches and his wife Nancy Shevel is 5'10". Along with the previous slide where I compared Bill and Nancy's height, we can also get the height perspective with this image. So this is Bill. I believe this version of McCartney is a double who happens to also have an upturned big toe, but on his left foot. And he's not tall enough to be Billy. Bill and his son James are close in height, and I'll show you this on the next slide. Although age can result in our bodies shrinking, the difference here, in my opinion, is too drastic. And Memoirs tells us Billy still uses a double. If I'm correct, and this is a look-alike, then it's obvious that James is in on the secret. On the left, we have a picture of Bill with his son James. We can see they are close in height. You can also see the version of Billy on the left has a much different stance or posture than the look-alike on the right. And I'll pause for a moment so you can take a look at both pictures. This version of McCartney with six toes is a double. Photos of him holding or playing instruments can easily be staged. Linda being photographed with the double is part of the PSYOP. This guy is another look-alike. Many doubles were in play from the very beginning of the Beatle timeline. This is why it's very difficult to discern who is who when doing the research. Now, some might be asking, how come Memoirs does not discuss six toes versus five toes? And I'll give you my thoughts. In Memoirs, Billy can only discuss his situation, meaning he can only talk about events and circumstances which apply to him personally or he could bump up against legal issues. If I'm right, and I believe I am, that he is not the person with six toes, then he cannot discuss another person's role, and therefore another person's contract, otherwise he could end up with legal issues himself, meaning he cannot talk about six toe fall, or any other person playing the role over time. He can only discuss himself. The fact that Bill does not bring up the difference in the number of toes, could very well mean there is no reason to, because he has five toes, and is nothing unusual to talk about. Many times, what is not said, says a lot. Let's move to the summary slide. In summary, we have Billy on the left in the number one position, with the other three characters to his right, numbers two, three, and four, being doubles. Billy has five toes, he has hallux extensus on his right foot, and he's tall, six feet two inches. In the number two position, we have a double, five toes, Halleck's extensus on the left foot, but he's shorter. Number three, 
another double. This is not Billy. Six toes and a wide foot. And number four, again, not Billy. He has five toes and the big toes on each foot are elongated. So that's my wrap up of the four characters that we discussed in this presentation. And so with that, let's move to the final chart and conclude. In conclusion, the difference in feet clearly proves there were other characters playing Paul McCartney. Biopaul did not have six toes. Biopaul did not have hallux extensus. Yet we have proof or versions of McCartney with six toes and hallux extensus. As I've mentioned in a number of shows, Tavistock employed doubles and lookalikes for all four Beatles from the very beginning. So doubles and lookalikes were used many times throughout the timeline of the Beatles. Billy is the version of Paul with the upturned big toe on his right foot. He is the primary Biopaul replacement from a performer-musician perspective. And per memoirs, Billy still uses a double today, and if I'm correct, that double is the person with the upturned big toe on the left foot. And last but not least, the McCartney conspiracy is a rabbit hole that keeps going deeper and deeper, and one of the major psychological operations in modern times. The comments section is open, so please feel free to share your thoughts. As always, comments which are non-value add will be deleted and the commenter will be banned. And before we head out, I'll leave you with a track from my album, Hollow Moon.